Good day, everyone. You watching 24-7 News and our top story for today is For the Love of God, and I am Luke, your news anchor. Wait, we just got word that we have John at the newsroom live. Take it from here, John. Thanks Luke and good day everyone I am John Blessing and this is breaking news. Folks we have Mark Mercy on standby out in the field and we also have Martha Hope our top news anchor they both waiting to get set up to bring us news coverage. Meanwhile let talk about the top news story of today and that is call for the love of God. In the Bible 1 John 4 and 7 through 21 God tells us in his word concerning love saying dear friends let us continue to love one another for love comes from God. God. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God, but anyone who does not love, that person cannot know God, for God is love. And God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only Son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. Wait, we've just been interrupted, Mark is there. Now at the place where no one talks about anymore, take it from here Mark. Good day everyone, and we're here, in the bottom of the earth which seemed to be a big gulf, where people burning forever, and I tell you, John, it is very hot down here, and people constantly screaming for help, John, you do hear that loud noise in the background, I tell you, John, and saint of God, I would not wish this place on no human person, John, when I first landed, I got chance to see a preacher burning and crying out, saying that he compromised with God word, he was crying that he did not teach God people the truth, John, I also met a lady that's here burning alive because she hold unforgiveness in a heart. She said when she went to church, she really did not care for the other church members. You know, in the Bible of Revelation 12 and 9 tells us that serpent of old called the devil and Satan who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him. John, it is very hot down here. That's all for now. You have been watching us live from the place that no one talks about anymore. This is Mark Mercy, and back to you, John. Thanks Mark for that news coverage. I tell you everyone if you wish to see Jesus, and have eternal life with him, you first must accept him and get to know him, and second began to practice and make love a lifestyle, okay. Folks we have Martha our top news anchor, let us join her now in heaven with good news coverage. Take it from here Martha. Thanks John and good day everyone. I am Martha Hope, and I am here at Heaven Gates, and I tell you, saints of God, this one sight you will want to see, a place where we can now live forever. No more pain, no more sickness, no more crying, and no more death, John and saints of God. This place is magnificent. Words cannot describe what I see here today. I'm being told the place have 12 gates. Hey, Entrances Martha, what to are the those city. color flares? Yes, John, those different flare color um, being told. Those are answer to the saint's prayer going back to the earth, John. This is an incredible sight to see and the best part. We will live forever with our Lord Jesus. For those who have accepted Jesus as they Lord and Savior. Hey, John and saints of God, do you remember when Jesus told the disciples to not be troubled? in heart for i go to prepare a place for you for in my heavenly father house there are many mansions well john and saints of god all i can say words cannot describe what i'm witnessing here today john another thing i noticed that everyone here at the gate entrance for the first time are being rewarded for all the good deeds they've done on the earth now i can see why jesus said in the book of Matthew 6 and 19, to store up for yourselves treasures in heaven and not on the earth. Saints of God, all your good works, doing and treating people right, just living. A righteous life will not go unnoticed. Good day, everyone. I am Martha Hope, and you've been watching Breaking News. John, back to you. Thanks, Martha. Well, folks, I think I'm getting a little homesick. Folks, I do hope you know this earth, planet, or world, however you would like to call it, is not a permanent place for you to live. This place call earth is temporary, with this being said, based on how you lived here and based on how you treat your neighbor is based on where your permanent home will be. This may be hard for you to swallow right now. However, Jesus made it clear for us to love our neighbor Matthew 22 and 39 This is real love. My brothers and my sisters not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear brothers and sisters, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other, and if we love each other, that mean God's Spirit live in us, and His love is brought to full expression in us also and as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. 
We love each other because he loved us first. If someone says, I love God, but hates a fellow believer or his neighbor, that person is a liar, for if we don't love people we can see, how can we love God, who we had never seen? And he has given us this command, for those who love God must also love their fellow neighbors, well that's all folks, you've been watching our top story, for the love of God, good day everyone, this is breaking news and I am John Blessing.